What's going on, people? It's Mr. Back again for the part two. Um, I hope everyone's been doing well. Um, but yes, new topic, new talk about um, Boris have sold Giacobalio to Olympiakos, and we've got the two Giacobalio lovers on this on this on the stream. <laughs> 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 uh, we've got Matt. How you doing, Matt? I'm very well, thank you, Mr. Dool. And we've got the lover, Giacobalio lover, Lee. How you doing, Lee? I'm good. Like I'm happy for the guy. I hope it works out for him. That's what I want. He deserves it too. And last but not least, we've got a special guest. Um, we've got Costa from the Gate Set Seven. Um, I've been on his channel as well. Um, Costa, hi, how are you, Costa? How's it going, man? Nice to talk to you again. Thanks for having me on the show. As well, but like I said, people, um, Jack Valley has left the club, um, and it's a big topic of um, him leaving. Um, I've got Costa to have his opinion about Gian uh, Cavallo. I've got Matt as well, the likes of the both like Cavallo. So, as well, people, if you want to join in the conversation about Gian Cavallo, um, we can. Um, before, as well, um, both Lee, Matt, and Costa, they've got channel, they've got uh, businesses as well. Um, Lee, before we do start, promote your business, Lee. Right, my business is uh, Golden Gloves Kickboxing. I've put the leaflet up before. There's my number. I didn't do it very well last time. Basically, I teach from four years upwards. So adults, even adults at 60. Families can come. I'm all over Nottingham. We're going to spread even further. I'm at Love, bro. We plan on going even further. Like, we just need to build back up. So if people want to come along, please message me or message door. You can have a free lesson and just see how you go. See if you enjoy it. Yeah. Uh but, uh, up here, it's linked below, so please, like I said, go on. Oh, uh, um, <laughs> next one is Matt. I said, Matt, he, he made this fantastic Riff Gallery as well. Matt, um, promote your channel. Your fitness. Oh, I'm just trying to pump out the Valentine's cards at the moment. Can you do me a favour? Come on, Carvalho for me. Well, the Carvalho ones, I just got to cross off the list now. But, um, <laughs> I'm ex there's a lot going out to Greece, maybe. I don't know. But that's yeah, no, I, anyone that's ordered a Valentine's cards can start sweating because they printed them too big so they don't fit in the envelopes. It's the same <laughs> problem you get with other things on Valentine's Day. But um, yeah, so anyway, but I'll be getting them out next week. So watch yeah. out, people. And I'm working on a Brennan Johnson masterpiece this week. So uh, mm. to celebrate his uh, next 10 glorious years at the club. Well, they are. You push it there, aren't you, Mark? You push it there. Not for sale. Uh, uh, last but not least, uh, Costa, like I said, he's got a Limp Yoko's channel, and uh, it's a fantastic channel. I was on there last week talking about Jack Cavallo. Um, Costa, promote your channel. Yeah, thanks, mate. So it's Gate 7 International, Gate 7 INTL. We're the number one English speaking source for all news related to Olympiacos. Olympiacos being, of course, a uh, big club, not only in football, basketball, water polo. I'm sure that if we had a ping pong team as well, we'd probably be competitive at that as well. But yeah, if you want to keep up to date on what's going on at Olympiagos, uh, how João Cavalio is doing, is he doing well, is he not doing too well, um, head over and, and subscribe. We've been about for almost a year now. Um, it's something that hasn't been done before. I mean, obviously, the, it's a Greek club. There are a lot of Greeks living abroad like in the UK, in uh, in the US. Like I think we even have listeners in India or Korea, I found out. But, um, wow. but yeah, we're, we're, we're close to hitting... 1000 subscribers um yeah guys it's uh it's great to be on the channel again uh obviously the clubs are how can i say brothers like the fans and, and little, little, brother, little brother costa little big brother, brother, little brother, brother depends what <laughs> size <you're laughs> <saying. laughs> but, little, little yeah, brother. it's good it's good to be back on the show yeah, but like I said, people, um, please, Matt and Costa, uh, please, the link is below the description. Please go support everyone's channel because that's what my channel's about. I like, to, I like to help everyone out. out. Uh, before we do start, I've got a super chat. Uh, thank you very much, Lee, for the £2.49 super chat sticker. And if you do want to do like a, a, a super chat, please link below. If you want to be a member, the link is below as well. Right, the topic. We're going to start with you, Matt. Jack Cavallo is gone. How are you feeling about it? Uh, please for him. Um, it's a shame it never happened for him over here. It, uh, if Karanka had stayed, which was a tragedy, a Greek tragedy all in itself that he left, 
if he'd stayed, I think it'd be a different story, completely different story. Um, but if he'd stayed, it would have been a different story rather. But uh, he left. That's all history. And since then, he's had a hard time, hasn't he? And it was it was the inevitable end, I think. Mm. Lee, probably probably a year too late. Yeah, that's one percent. Um, Same as Matt, really. Like, I just want the lad to do well because I know for a fact he's got he's got the ability, he's got the talent. For some reason, for whatever reason, we couldn't harness it. I hope the move to Olympiakos does harness that because the guy is class. Like, it's there. Mm. It's whoever gets it out of him is going to have a great player, aren't they? So, unfortunately, it wasn't us. But like I say, I, I wish him well. I really want him to do well. He deserves mm. to, bless him. I think um, if he had the chance now that he had when Karanka signed him, he'd be twice the player he was then. I felt like yeah. he underachieved when he had the chance. Yeah. And he hasn't had any chances. And he's become a so-called bad a player by never playing player. sort of thing. A bit part player. Yeah, and, uh, but can't... he was top of all the, uh, the, the stats when he was playing. And yeah. people thought he was great. And personally, I was actually disappointed with him when he was playing. I thought he should be doing better. But um, mm. I think he would have done, but he's never had the chance since. So, yeah. And he's an unusual player. He doesn't fit into most systems. And the managers we've had, well, you know. Mm. You're never um, going to get consistency, though, are you, when you're playing 15 minutes here, 30 minutes there, leave you for three games, then we'll bring you on again. I mean, half the time he was on the bench just to sit and watch the game. What's the point? Got no intention mm. of playing him, just... So I'm happy mm. that he's got the move. I hope it. I hope it reignites his career because he's still only 24. So, um, Costa, like, I think I think it was, was it, I think it was, Matt was it last year that Boris trying to get rid of Carvalho, but he didn't want to go. This now now he's come, Costa. How how are you feeling about him coming to the club? I, I came to the channel last week and I, I spoke about he had a fantastic season the first year, but then he's not he's faded off Boris, but Coming to Olympiacos, Castle, big club. How, how are you feeling with him coming to your club? We've had a big problem with creativity this year. So, like, we've had a big dip in our expected goals since last season and seasons before before last. So, we've been looking to bring in a creative player. We had Costas Fortunis, uh, our number 10. He sustained an ACL injury in the summer. He had another ACL a couple of years ago and the other knee. Um, so he's been a big loss and there's been a system change also in, you know, the way the, the coaches uh, approach tactics. We've traditionally played a 4-2-3-1 system. So we play with, num with a number 10, but that's changed um, over the last year. We play more of a 4-3-3 or even sometimes three at the back, 3-4-3 three, three or 3-5-2. Three, so I'm curious if, um, if the coach, the Portuguese coach for the record, um, I'm curious to see if he's going to, you know, go back to that 4-2-3-1 system as his go-to system. It, um, you know, that's where Carvalho fits. So, you know, you guys have already talked about that in, in the sense that under Karanka, he had that position and he played consistent minutes. Uh, you know, I think that's, that's really important for him now. If he's going to show his real potential he needs to be playing consistently anyone who's played football like at any level amateur semi-pro whatever you know that you can't be in a situation where you're playing 15 minutes one game not playing the next game playing 90 minutes then playing a, another game in a different position and there's a lot of competition at Olympiagos at the 10 at the moment actually because Fortunis is coming back from an ACL injury he's going to ease his way back in and he's he's easily our most talented creative player so i'm curious to see how the club's going to manage bringing fortunis back and introducing carvalho while at the same time having a player like agibu camara who you might not have heard of but i'm i've heard of him i've heard of him yeah i'm almost telling you 100% he's going to be playing in the premier league as of summer if you guys get promoted, if you guys get promoted, 
Yeah, yeah, I don't know what the fee is going to be or whether it's going to be undisclosed. <laughs> Everything's undisclosed. Everything's undisclosed. <laughs> we've got a we've got a left back you would love. No, oh, he's already paid. Matt, 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 he's already paid for him. <laughs> he's already paid for him, Piocco. He's paid for us. Bong, you'd love Bong back. You know, he already paid you know. for us. He's already paid for him. He's got to finish there. <laughs> as, as everyone knows, Bong, he, he has played for Liam Procos before. So, Costa, if you want to play my my my, my Nakis, I'm just say Bong can finish his career with Liam Procos. Uh, I've, 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 go I've got him on speed dial. I've got him on speed dial, mate. I'll call him now. <laughs> Costa, has there been a reported fee for. Wait, 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 <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm interested. I'm intrigued. No, no, no. I know that's that's the one I want to And this is this is the topic. Everyone messaged me when we, when it was coming up. I was doing the stream. Everyone messaged me if if you know this this the uh, the fee because as you know, Boris, we need money, and we know about Marinakis. Like we, we know the future. Like Silver's gone to from Forest Olympiacos. We've had some players from Olympiacos, but, but do you know any? What the fee is, or anything like that? Olympiacos generally don't communicate the fees that they pay for any player, let alone when it comes to um, like a deal, a deal like <laughs> between, ones. Between, between one president <laughs> and the same president. So, um, <laughs> but um, I, look, I mean, look, I, I was looking at this the other day because I, I was genuinely curious. You guys signed him for what 15 million, I think, um, Sterling. But, 30 million, 30 million. 30 million. Yeah. so 15 million euros yeah. and his market value now on transfer marts is two <laughs> so it's a um, loss. I, I think i think i understood this from forest fans and from the discussion that mr dora and i had last week but essentially it's gonna it might help you with financial fair play or it might you know i mean one way or another he's balancing the books isn't he so I don't know it, if you guys it, have look, managed. To, are you are you signing any more players? I know you've been active already. You brought in Steve Cook at the back and made some a couple of other signings this January. So I think I think the, either way you look at it, yeah, you're not getting your your money back. That's that's well. No, come on, gone. come on. He's hard. Uh, he's hardly used. Low mileage. It's got to be worth nearly what we paid for him, surely. Come on. <laughs> 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 at least low mileage. You know what I mean? Not so bad uh, in the garage. <laughs> oh, um, no, nah, sorry, man. <laughs> they'll, pay, they'll, pay, they'll pay. They'll pay just the right amount, though, won't they? You know, and we'll we'll figure out how much they paid by how much we spend. That's how. That's the only way we're going to figure it out. Permanently, that's how we'll know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you, um, you, you look when it comes to January transfer windows, I I'm of the opinion that you're generally looking to do some patchwork you know i don't think you should be spending big money big money in in january but you know the hope of everyone let alone forest fans but olympiacos fans as well is that forest make the playoffs why not hire him you mm. know be in the premier league next season and then you'll have all the tv revenues coming in and you won't give a shit about joao cavalier next year <laughs> no exactly that's what that's what i was thinking but that's what we go talking about um matt like Jacques Valio, like I said, he's like since Conky left, he's not had a, a game under, under O'Neill, uh, Sabrina Mucci, Hooten, Cooper. He's been, he's been um, he went on loan to was it Elmere. Elmere, I think he went on there. Yeah. He, didn't have, he didn't really, yeah. yeah, he didn't really have game time there, Matt. We Thiago Silva went to Olympia, of course, and I don't think he had game time there. But do you think mm. Jacques Valio is talented? But do you really think you can go to Limpiarcos and prove everyone, all the first ones wrong, including me? I don't know. That's the thing. I mean, uh, mm. Costa's saying, what he's saying is sounding like he might have exactly the same problem. He's going to be on, on the bench in the shadows and never get those games where he, which he needs to establish himself. He's that kind of guy. You need to put him on the pitch and leave him there for six games and then he'll give you a return. I honestly think if you did an analysis of how effective he's been per minute or per game, there aren't many forwards in the last three years that have probably been much cop uh, forest full stop, has there? You know, uh, 
So I, I think he's he'd be considered quite prolific if you did a per minute analysis. But he's the kind of guy you got to leave there. He's not gonna. He's not a guy that's going to come off the bench and change games. But he will do something clever when you least expect it. So I don't know. I think he's going to have the same problem. And you know, if you're asking me to bet money, I wouldn't want to bet money on him. You know, being this huge success just because of the sheer problem. I think it's his personality. Yes. Yeah. Matt, everyone the thinks thing, though, Matt, I will say is they've got better players, so he'll have better players around him, which might either read what he's going to do or allow him to do more stuff. Like some of ours weren't on his wavelength. We, we've seen that season in, season out. Like it passed the ball and they're not there. Like it play it through and no one's there, and they just you know what I mean. These these you've got to admit it. They're in the Champions League. They've got a, a higher standard of players than we've got, so it might. I'm hoping it does work out, but, you know, I, I, I agree with what you're saying, 100%. He's a confidence player, though, isn't he? he? Is. And he and And, you know, I said to him, you've got to look like Yates. If you look like Yates, you'll get picked and, and you'll produce more than him, probably, but you've got to look like him. And people say he's, he doesn't care. When he would get substituted, he looked like his, his, his cat had died or something. Um, but it's just the way he was. It's just his personality. And I, I don't think he had a lot of support from within the club and outside the club. Uh, I think it was, just, you know, the lockdown and all this. There's lots and lots of factors come into play. And I think he just struggled. It, it, you know, may, and he's, he's young, but he's older now. So maybe it'll be different. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a question. This is for... Um... From is it Nick Lev from me? He must be a Lev Yarkos fan. Uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe some of his can turn Kawhi around. Guessing the reason behind the transfer. Pastor, do, do you think Pedro Martins can do that? For Carvalho? Well, there's been a couple of Portuguese players that have come in and out of the club over the last couple of years. Um, some successful, some less. So successful ones. Daniel Pedence came in from Sporting. Mm. He's playing for Wolves yeah. now. Yeah. Fantastic player. Um, mm. joy, joy to watch. We had him for a year and a half. Uh, I think, you know, that, that's what a lot of players come to do at Olympiagos, like, like a Daniel Pedence. They come, they make a name for themselves. They play Champions League football one season, two seasons, season and a half. And then they, and then they get sold. So it, we're, we're either a stepping stone for players or we're a second chance saloon. For a player like Carvalho, in this case, um, Jose Sarr is another example. Also gone to Wolves, by the way. Wolves, yeah. He's their, he's their keeper. I think he got voted best signing of the of the summer by some uh, by some pages, um, big ones. Gary Neville, I think, had him as his best signing as well. But but yeah, then there there are some other examples like uh, what's his name? Um, yeah, Thiago, like Thiago Silva. Thiago Silva. He yeah. didn't really like for me. I, I could see quality, but he didn't really get consistent minutes. Um, it just you know it didn't work out for him. Now to answer the question, is that the reason behind the transfer? Like I said, Carvalho is going to have competition. So I'm really curious to see how they manage him, how they integrate him into the squads. Um, but but yeah, the reason why we brought him in is because we have a big problem with creativity. And I think that's the reason why we've brought him in. I do think that they're like, yeah, there are good players around him. And you can see that, you know, he's got that eye for a pass. He's got a fantastic touch. He can carry the ball. And he's not, He's not afraid when he has the ball at his feet. He can get out of tight, tight situations. He's a nimble player. Like he looks. Um, if you guys have ever seen Costas Fortunis play, he's very similar, very similar. And even dare I say, mentality-wise, they look like like they're kind of despondent on the pitch, like mm. they don't care. But mm. but then when they get the ball, that's when the crowd's like, all right, something's going to happen now. So hopefully that's that's what... part of the job. That's part of the job, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you lull them in. Mm. Um, I, I see like, <laughs> another ex Vice player who's at is at Lib Jarcast and another um was it Buklakis? Um Buklakis. Ma, 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 can you remember Buklakis? Oh, I, I like him. him. Yeah, I like I, him. I, like him. I, I really you know liked him. You know what? The, I, I don't know if you lot know this. Forrest never said he went back to Lib Jarcast. 
That, that's why I didn't understand that transfer. <laughs> it was a strange one, wasn't it? It was a strange one. I, I, like, Forrest never slighted like Ben Watson. Because that Ben Watson. Against Brentford yeah. away, 3-1 win. He yeah, that's a, yeah, that's oh. the only decent game. That's the only decent game he's had at Forrest. Yeah. He come on, didn't yeah, he? his yeah. last game. The, the the classic thing where you have your best game is your last game, like Pantillamon, Adlen, you know, so many players have, have as soon as they have a good game, they go, not for Forrest. Not for Red. <laughs> <laughs> oh it is. Um Costa, like I said, people have mentioned that they've messaged me so much message and, and I read one. Like the relationship with Forrest, like Marin Marin like, he owns both clothes, but on your opinion, yeah, like I know this is, when I went to uh, Olympiacos when Forrest played you, there's a few fans that wasn't happy with the connection because said Mar- Marinakis was he's more favour with Forrest and Olympiacos, but I, I don't think it was. But as an Olympiacos fan, right, how, how do you feel about the connection with both clubs and do you think Marinakis is, is more favour with Forrest than Olympiacos? I don't think it's either or. I think you know, both clubs, they're a business, that their business is for him. Um, I think he obviously has a closer affinity with Olympiakos, like it runs in his family. He's Greek. Um, it's his first love, I could say, like in football terms. Yeah. And then, you know, Nottingham Forest, I think it was an attractive business proposition for him, a club with a lot of history, same colours. You know, I, I'm I'm sure that played into it, like the colours in his decision, for sure. So, you know, Olympiacos fans in 2019, probably when you went over for that friendly. Yeah. We were in a situation. Great, it was great where, sitter. Great sitter. Great sitter. Mate, we, we hadn't won the league in two seasons when you went out there. And mm. two seasons without us winning the league is a very long time. So we're talking about a club that's won 46 league championships. Yeah. Is like two years not winning the league. We went through, I, th- I can't even remember how many managers we went through the season before we bought Pedro Martins. I think it was five. We started with Besnik Hassi, then we bought in Lemonis. We, yeah, we went through four or five managers. And then Pedro Martins came in and he rebuilt everything. Like 40 players, 44 players got shipped out. Something like 35 <laughs> players came in. So, oh, yeah. I think we got most of them. Man- <laughs> I'm not so sure. <laughs> Costa, we haven't won the league in over 23 years. How do you think that feels? I think that's a bit longer than two. <laughs> yeah, but we're, we're, we're used to winning it every year. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, so yeah. When, <laughs> when Mr. Door went out, the vibe was probably like, oh, FFS, you know, we, mm. I don't know if I can swear on the show, so I won't. Feel yeah, free. Yeah. You're not gonna... yeah. Go on, yeah, yeah. go on, say it's it. Like, about... you know, wait, 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 kids. Could... <laughs> kids, could we ears, could we ears, kids? Go on, go on, Costa. No, it's, it's all good, it's all good. So basically the Olympiagos fans that you met at that time were probably in a, you know, in a vibe that, oh, we haven't won the league for two years and he's going off and doing this thing in, in, in England because he wants to get in the Premier League and make money and blah, 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 blah. So that might have been the vibe of some of the people that you talk to. Um, but but honestly, I think the majority of Olympiagos fans that you talk to uh, and you, you ask them the question you're asking me, they'll say, it's an honour that our president owns a club like Nottingham Forest. Do you know what I mean? And like everyone, I think everyone you talk to will say, we want to see Nottingham Forest in the Premier League competing again. It's a it's a pride thing as well. Huh? And and the, the colours, the colours is super important. It's like, it's a red and white team. So for us, it's pride. Celtic are safe then. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to happen. Don't talk about clubs with that, with that silly little no. leaf on the, on the badge. No, yeah. no. Exactly. <laughs> Um, people, there's 108 people in. Any uh, questions for Costa regarding Olympia? Costa Olympia for us, you can. Um, like I said, any first question, and we're going to Sean Cavalli as well. Any, if does anyone miss him? If anyone's going to miss him? Because I'm not. Um, I think he's um, <laughs> there's, so many, there's so many players that, um, like I said, people players gone for Olymp- how, how many players have we got hey. from Olympia? Cost people in the comments, like, should we, should we count them? Where? Should we try? Should we try and count them? List them? No, right, right. right. Let's play, right, people. Let's play, Let's say how many players have we got from Olympiacos? Matt, Matt Lee, do you know how many players have we got from Olympiacos? 
It's the guy whose name many... was dead long that began with T. He came and he never played. Oh, he was... in midfielder. I... Began with T. I can't even pronounce oh, it. Oh, what's his name? You know, People call... I know you're talking about. Oh, what's his That's name? See this, whatever he's called. It's Dre. Yeah, yeah, That's... yeah. Something yeah, along you know, the back lines. Back yeah. He played for you? No. no he, he, played, he, he never played. He, he come to Forest. He come to yeah. Forest. I think the worst thing about I remember on his, there's a quote. He was crying when he was on the airport to Nottingham because he didn't <laughs> want time for Nottingham Forest. And then he never played for Forest. And then I think there was a January window. He went to that Italian club. Is it Leeds Shea? Le- he went to Lecce. Club. Yeah, I'm looking Lecce. at it now. Yeah. yeah, he went to Lecce for half a million. So we made profit of someone who didn't make, who didn't be on the bet. Like, he was on the ball for us. Just like Drago. Never kicked the ball for us. I, you know what? I, I'm, that's about to ask um, Costa as well. We've had, who else have we had? We had Guerrero. Bukalakis. Uh, Bukalakis. Cafu. Um, ca- Cafu. Yeah, Cafu, yeah. Cafu's the only one who's managed to stick around, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's it. Just, so ironic. That, <laughs> that's it. We, that's we've had, we've had, we, we've had. There must be one. There must be more. We've had. Oh, the other one. What's the other one? It's called against QPR. The other one. Oh, what's his name? Cavalli set him up. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Late. Oh, Ooh. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the black guy. Um. Oh, you run. The, the run. A run. We beat. We beat um, QPR one nil. But people in the comments, you know who I'm talking about. Not Sidani. Not Sidani. Sidani, are you? Because he was asked before them. No, Sidani went to fuck Limpiarkos. Oh, yeah. What was his name? Yeah. Oh, it's good. No, not Semedo. Not Semedo. No. No. I, I thought you were meant Semedo. Costa, you, Costa, how many people? Right, this was a striker. Oh, what was his name? Oh, what was his name? People, this is in my head. You know the last game of the season it, we beat it, it, and Sarifard, good shout. No, 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 the Iranian, the Iranian yeah, yeah, international. Yeah. That's right. That was him. Same with us. Too much Olympiacos players. Yep. He would have done good at you lot, man. But like, he I'm, had I'm surprised. Over the he had that whole work permit issue. Ramble. Didn't didn't he like wait six months to get a work permit? No. no. Are you sure? No, that right? I swear it took so long for him to get. A that's it, Kareem. That's, that's, that's the word. That's, that's him. Yeah, Kareem. Kareem yeah. He, I, I was, and I was surprised. Fun. I was surprised he left Forest because I liked him. I think he's a good player, man. He didn't like. He wanted to go. He didn't like England, did he? So you, you can't. Someone hated him. Someone in the club said he was awful. I can't remember. And the goalkeeper as well. Yeah, the goalkeeper. Yeah. Capino. Shout out to Gary Capino as well. We <laughs> might see him. We've had yeah. pretty much donkeys, all your casts on. <laughs> Only Bukalaki's actually done anything. Kafu's still stuck around, so he contributes every so often. But other than Lee. that... Kasami? Lee. you got Kasami too, no? Oh, God, we had him Oh, all. yeah. Oh, Kasami, yeah. yeah. We had and who's on what? Who's on what? Thanks for Bomb. You saw that one, I think. No, who's the other one we had? <laughs> who's the other one we had? What about the other one? <laughs> who's the other one that's called that Cheeky Pounty? In a, in a, against West Ham. Oh, you're all about a dune. A dune. He came in the Bjorn cost. A dune. He came in the Bjorn cost. He came in the assassin as well. The yeah. other, the other class. You must see him in the Bjorn. The board him. Costa, Costa, can't you find your, can't you find your owner? Say, bring some decent players from Olympia Bjorn cost. Yeah, you, you see, he's Budin telling us all these good players, and then we get them, and we find out what they're really like. <laughs> 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 they all sound good until we see them. We've got I, I, great I, names, haven't they? And then they I think we died. got, we we got the dregs, did we? You can tell us now. We got the dregs. Mate, to, to, to be fair, like, if you look at it on the grand scheme of things, yeah, the majority of the players that you got <laughs> were, were outcasts. But <laughs> ja- Jamel Abdun, Jamel Abdun, what happened oh. to him? He, he was top scorer, top assists man the season before he transferred out to you. But he basically saw it. He, he got a big ego and said, like, all right, I've done everything in Greece. I want to go. Like, it's like all right, like, go off to Forest and do your thing and help them get promoted. And then I didn't even know if he played. And then he kind of dropped off the radar 
and went back and was playing for a team that was fighting against relegation in Greece. And then Rafik Jabour, Rafik Jabour is one of the best. Number one! Rafik Jabour Jabour is is one of the best strikers. One of the best strikers we've signed in the last 10, 15 years. Albeit because he was free and he came to us at 26 years of age, he was banging 20 goals a season. But both I feel of them, like Ben Dora had banged 20 goals in a season. <laughs> both of them, both Badly. of those players, both of those players, their problem was they had one problem. Mm. Oh, Abdoom was a big time Charlie, weren't it? Abdoom was. Oh. Oh, shall we, shall we, shall we players we have from Olympia Costa? Bloody hell. Like, Costa, like we mentioned, we, we, we've sent players to you. We've had um, sent you Silva, we sent you Sidani. Who else we sent you? Bukalakis went back to Olympiacos. Like, they've not been great, have they? Go to Olympiacos and... Why can't you send us Matty Cash? <laughs> 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 Matty Cash? I'm telling you, it's the best one. Tyler <laughs> Wait, right, right. The See, you're not was, giving us your best players and we're not giving you our best players. <laughs> right, the funny bit... Right, like, Costa, when I, went, when I went to Olympiacos, right, um, shout out to Marco, the, 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 the funniest quote that Marco said, Matty Cash is not a right-back. I think it, it, it was it. Guerrero, I think Guerrero just actually, I think, can you remember Guerrero, Matt and me? Mm. Another, another player for Olivia Costa. He actually spattered Matty Cash. He scored two goals, didn't he? Yeah, he scored two goals. And he, and he looked amazing. He looked a world beater. And then we got him. Yeah, he, yeah, no, no. yeah. Costa, did, did you get frustrated? Like I said, you, you mentioned, like, you're, you're, you're a big club. You're in Champions League. You, you, you play European football every season. Like, don't you think, oh, why don't we get the, the, the good place from Forest? No. Don't you? Don't you think, don't, don't you think no Forest player is good enough for Olympiacos? I told you, like, Matt, Matt Cash is a player that I would have loved to love to get in. But I don't know, mate. I think I think the level of our players is generally a bit higher. I don't know. To, to be honest, like, I haven't watched. I don't watch Forest consistently, so I don't. I can't, so I can't really to. tell. Like Louis, Gra- uh, Louis Graben looks like a decent player. You, think you, you, ex- you, can, you can have him in a year, definitely. <laughs> the, the, the ex- <laughs> he's coming into his peak. He's only twenty-four. I don't know. It's like Ryan. Ryan Yates is a player I've heard of. Like, yeah, you're not having long, a, long hair. Costa, you're not having a, me. Co- co- Costa, million, you can have Yates. Costa, you're not having Ryan Yates. People, take, Costa, don't get me mad. You're not having Ryan Yates. He's my player. The, so, so the question is: the question is. All right, I'll ask you a question. Is there a player in your team who you think can mentally handle? Playing for a club that is not allowed to lose one game. Like after one game, a manager can get sacked. Is there one player in your team that can handle that pressure? Playing for a club that literally, like the next Wrong. day, they can wait, wait, wait. people the comments. He's the one for you. People the comments. Put write it down. What, what I, I think said. Bond's the man you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking for a left back, actually. <laughs> he can yeah. handle that we're, kind of pressure. We're overloaded with left backs. He'd be playing yeah. every week, but for that. Wow. Um, Cheeky 10 million or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just, it's just loser players. I, I, We've loser got a players. few. I mean, McKenna, Spence. McKenna, what? McKenna Cook. Samba. Johnson. Samba wouldn't give a... De- wouldn't Samba care, would he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing's going to plus the Samba. Samba would laugh. I, I, who would play for, for Spence? I think Spence would definitely play for Lincoln Cross. But he, I know he's on loan. Um... John Jack Colback. Jack Colback. Uh, Colback. Yeah, Michaela. Could go through the hole. There you go. There you go. Are Shout you guys, out to Michaela. Are you guys going for the Millwall right right winger? So a uh, Jed. Uh, Jed um, we don't know. I don't know because now we just come, now we said that Johnson's not going. It's going to be hard. But, but now Jabak Jabak Wallace is left. His wages are free, so. Yeah. Wallace's Wallace's contract is running out, isn't it? Yeah, but yeah. we're more what two, we're more what two million? No, no, no what ten much, million? Really? No, what no, what it's ten million? Right, yeah, but his contract's nearly gone, so yeah, yeah it's yeah, going to run out till summer if it's you don't get it now. Summer, it? So they're not going to want to not cash in on him. They've they've accepted it. They're just playing silly buggers to try and 
cause like an auction, aren't they? To get as much as possible. So he's a good player. Two million would be he's a, a good lot. player. You should get him. He is a good player. Yeah, he's the most creative well, do, player do, in the league. Costa, do you think you'll get the Olympiakos squad? Because we could buy him. Yeah. And then if, he, if he's rubbish, we'll <laughs> yeah. send it we, we, we'll yeah, to the Olympiakos. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's what always happens. <laughs> do you know what? Do you know what? There are a couple of wingers that I'd like to send over there. Who? Yeah. Well, uh, mate. We, we no, tell got... them, no, talk to us. No, cost no, talk to us, man. What place, we... right? What, what, what place do you think that like, should go to Forest? Like, it's always like your cast offs. Like, that, right, if you mention like Cafu, is he, um, how, like, Lee and Matt, has he been good for Forest since he's come back, come from the Cost? Not particularly. His best thing he's done is get Sibley in the headlock. Like, getting around the yeah. head. That's yeah. his biggest contribution. He's one of your top me. students. Yeah. Who else is there? Uh, uh, no, he, he's done bits and bobs, hasn't he? But nothing to... He's not pulled up any trees, has it? Let's be honest. Mm. Uh, people he's the best out of a bad bunch, if we put it like that, from Olympiakos. <laughs> Him and Bukalakis were the best out of a bad bunch. No, Lee, I don't, no, Lee, Bukakis, he played one good game. And that was a Brentford. He scored a two one he, He's the best out of a bad bunch. <laughs> he's better Cafu. than Cafu. He, he, Cafu. What, yeah, Bukakis? Bukakis. Yeah. Bukakis? Yeah. Different league. He could play oh, ball. Could, 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 come on. Come on. Bukakis Cafu. is better than Cafu. Yeah. He's got, he he's got, got, got two in that one game. He could have retired after that yeah. game. Nah, but look at... Well, I saw he's still a Forest player because, like I said, we didn't announce it. He was going to Olympiakos, so technically he's still, <laughs> he's still a Forest player. He's still our player. He'll get he's still a Forest player. Firm, firm, Olymp- <laughs> firm they never doing the paperwork. <laughs> firm, Marinakis, <laughs> City coming out the back. He, he, I'm sure he was not. He, Forest did not announce it. There's no player it's like that. We don't do proper transfers. They just ring <laughs> up and say, send someone over. We need hey, someone uh, for someone all over you know, you might still own 50% of him. So when we sell him, you might get <laughs> something. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, there's no player I've not mentioned. <coughs> and Costo, I, I spoke to you about um, Dra- Dra- Draga, Draga, and, Draga yeah. and he's not playing. At, remember, Matt, me and Matt went to watch him mm. for the under 23s. 23s. Uh, mm. Yeah, and. And it's his first game and his rush day, but he's not played. And you said to me that you wasn't grateful in Prakas. But I know, and now, because I think he's had a good, he's had a good African Nations. I think he's he was good, good. Isn't it? Someone's after him, aren't they? No, now someone's after him. <laughs> yeah, they're oh. selling him. <laughs> this one, That's I on mean, the basis of that. Is that, what you're <laughs> to, is, that is that what your owner does? It's like, how many clubs does he own? I'm sure he owns more than. Forest and Piacos, didn't he? I'm sure he, is. he sends players to like. Did he try and buy an Italian club or a French club, like some second division? Rumored, rumored. Uh, yeah, he probably owns but, it. Um, just, right before yeah. we do, uh, ex Forest, uh, Forest player, the legend himself, David Johnson, is going on. Shout out to John. I'll see you tomorrow. Jono, uh, good evening, I, sir. I, I, I see you at the corner. Oh, but Jono, before we do go, Alison owes me five off because. <laughs> It was a tenner you said the other day. No, no, it shows me a five because I bet with her saying that um, Brennan would score. Was Brennan would score? She said Brennan would score three, and I said no, nah, he's not score three. So uh, I want him. I want him pound coins. But yeah, shout out to Jono. Um, <laughs> Costa, like we talk, we talk about like Olympia Arcos, like and, and Forest connections, and um, what like we talk about Olympia Arcos season. And I, I, I watched closely Olympia Arcos, and. Um, how how's their season been so far? Oof, uh, not a bit underwhelming. It's so basically we've had we've had the same coach now going into fourth season. That's weird, isn't it? Isn't that weird? Is so he is the longest. He's about to become the longest serving manager in the history of the club. We wow. generally we generally don't keep managers for more than one or two seasons so it's a big big thing like they, I, I told you he came in at a time where we hadn't won the league and then he didn't win the league in his first season but played great football possibly the best football we've played the, his first season second season we should have gone very far into the Europa League Corona hit and then we got screwed by the ref against Wolves in the quarter final um, and anyway his his time at Olympiacos has kind of been 
like that. It's peaked after two years and it's kind of going like this since. But Corona's hit the team in a really bad way. I did. Um, yeah, like we, our, our entire team got hit with it during preseason. So we basically didn't have a preseason this year. We had qualifiers early. We got knocked out the Champions League qualifiers um, just before the playoffs. Uh, we made it into the Europa League, but but yeah, the season's basically been been one of those where we've been coasting in the Greek league, playing, you know, in second gear, not even getting into third, and kind of winning games one nil or two one, or we're undefeated, but it's been crap to watch. Uh, and in the Europa League, we had a group which we could have won. We came second. It's just been a bit underwhelming this season, mm. but it's I find it's largely down to the fact that we haven't had a preseason. The manager tried to change the system during preseason. Um, players got injured, players got COVID that matched that system, and then it's all kind of been trying to you know put a team put a team together. Where you know we're getting into February and we don't know what our best starting eleven is. So mm. it's one of those seasons where personally I'm saying to everyone. This is a transition year. We're waiting. You know, I'm basically waiting for the season to be over. We're nine points, uh, nine points ahead of second, and tomorrow we go up north to face uh, Balk. Big, big hatred rivalry with them. They're the ones wow. that won the league a couple of years what, ago. Not even Power Night. What, what's that? What's that? Power, what's that other group side? Panathinaikos. Oh, Panathinaikos. Yeah. Panathinaikos <laughs> is our traditional. <laughs> Our traditional like <laughs> opponent, how Derby. can I say? Like they're they're like nemesis. Derby. They're like Derby to us. Yeah. They're our nemesis. Like yeah. they're they're our antichrist, if you will. So like they've been shit the last six or seven years, um, and you know not playing in Europe, they've got a crap owner. Um, Greek he football hates Karanakis, sounds it? familiar. He hates <laughs> Austin, can I ask you, like, are you not underwhelmed because you're so used to winning all the time and just walking the league and doing well in Champions League, and that's why you're underwhelmed? If, because if it's the reverse, you would see how actually it's actually not bad where you are, if that makes sense. I, I understand, but so, it sounds a bit like an Arsenal fan or a Man U fan that's used to having everything their own way, and then now it's it's not happened for one or two seasons. Uh, a bit upset. Nothing against you. Just saying. Yeah, that, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> it, 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 it's something that we talk about a lot as Olympiacos fans, and like, yeah. okay, I, I grew up in the UK, and like, it, you win and you lose in football. Like, yeah. it's part of the game. But like, if you talk to a lot of Olympiacos fans, or like ones that are younger than me that don't know what it was like when we weren't winning leagues for ten years, it's like that that will to to win. It's more than a will. It's an obsession. Like yeah. winning is an obsession at the club. It's mm. it's deep. It's deeply ingrained in the club and in the fan base. But like, I want to I want to watch a game on Sunday or Saturday, and I want to watch something. Do you know what I mean? So that's important to me. You, you, there, there is a bit of a divide in like fans that are like, oh, we won, and like we beat Banathan Agos three 0 It's like, yeah, but Banathan Agos is shit. <laughs> that's how we felt under Hewton. We'd go, we knew we'd more than likely lose, and we'd just sit there bored to tears. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I speak yeah, for but... Boris Johnson when I say that. It but, was a but rent. now this, we this winning, winning every week, week is getting bored. Now, now, well. now, now, now we're winning every week. We just, we'll keep yeah. winning. We we'll we'll used to settle for a 1 0 defeat under Hewton. We won't even yeah. win. At least you win. Celebrated it. <laughs> yeah. um, before, before we go, I've got a, a new member. Uh, thank you very much for Nick for being a member for YouTube, uh, to my channel. If you want to be a member, um, the link's below. So be a member. So Nick, thank you very much. Um, Matt Lee, have you got any questions for Costa, like regarding the forest and the uh, Limpia Costa connection? And I know people in the comments as well. Have you got any, um, any comments that you want to ask Costa regarding forest and the Limpia connection? Like there must be someone out there. I know I've got yeah. tons of messages. But, um, as well, but well, Matt, I guess the, I guess the obvious thing is if we can't sell you bong, who might we get off you next? Who who's the next one near the sort of uh, the escalator or whatever? Hanging around. Sounds, sounds who's like surplus the requirements over there? Let me have a look at the squad list real quick. I know, no, I know, I know you sold. 
Who have you sold? You, you sold um, who's that centre back Costa? You sent to was it Porto? Semedo. Semedo, he's a good player. Why can't you come to Forest? He's a great player. So you don't want Ruben Semedo in your team? What? <laughs> you, what do you mean? Listen to me. I went. No, he, I know. He, I know. He's, he's, he had that. He um, shouldn't be play. He shouldn't be playing in Greece. He shouldn't have. So you know the story with Semedo. Yeah, Semedo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Semedo like went to prison in Spain because he got in a bar fight. He had a gun. Like he has a prison sentence, a suspended prison sentence. So he can't. Like what we need. He can't enter Spain. <laughs> he can't. He can't go to Spain. Like it's the reason why he also didn't get called to the Portuguese national team during the uh, was it the Euro that just happened? Because if yeah. they went to go and play in Spain, like he wouldn't be able to go. But he's a top, top centre-back in his first season at the club. He was fantastic. You just couldn't get past him. And I, then... I, I remember Forrest played against him. I think when Forrest came to you lot. And yeah, it was his first play... season. He sounds yeah. fantastic, to be fair. Like, no, he... you need someone with a bit of grit at the back. He, he just gets in trouble all the time. Like, he got accused of rape, like, two months oh. ago. Like, it's, uh, it's in court now. And then the other day, he was accused yeah. of hitting his wife. And his wife retracted the... Uh, like the, the allegation because he was, uh, you know, he's still, still waiting for a sentencing on the other matter. So it's just, he's a head case. He's a head case. Great player, but like, I don't know, man. It, it's oh, a shame. I, I like it. I, 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 li <laughs> I, I, I like it. I like the player. Mr. Dawes, role, role model. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I don't want... He sounds more no, like a Derby player to me. No, it's it sounds like oh, a player. <laughs> <laughs> no, where would you where would you go? Like I remember it was it, I think it was Lewis Grabbing up front. And that Smith Smith was just a tank. No one could go past mm -hmm. him. And his voice man was, was was singing to uh, to Maranakis, Can we sign him next time? Blah blah blah. That's how good it was. I think <laughs> yeah. I think even with Guerrero, when Guerrero destroyed my cash. The six months later, we signed him. So wait, 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 like no. he's a player, even for us, I liked him have it as an option because I knew what he would give every game. He's a hundred percent work rate and press and pressure. He would press, and that's the system that we played. We had a system where we pressed from the front, and he was the first line of defense, and it gave space to others, and he did that great. But to like you know be a consistent goal scorer, no. It's not what he is. Um, you know what? I've, 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 I've got a question to Chelsea Costa and Matt and Lee might like this. Um, as you know, Forest fans, we had Yanis as a Forest um, CEO and he was trouble at Forest. And then we heard he'd gone back to uh, Greece to the PR cost. Have you, have you heard anything about him at, um, at your club? The less I hear, the better. What do you think? Is is there not a lot of love in Greece for this guy? He's one of those guys that basically when you, when we were going after transfer targets, you would read or you would hear that Marinakis has left it to Vredzos. And you're just like, oh, that, or again. So... <laughs> now this is the kind of information we needed about two or three years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think Zhao could probably tell you a couple of stories about him as well, but I I, I don't know. It's really it's like, idea. as far as I know, he's like a right hand man figure in in business terms, but not football. So like the guy, mm. I mean, what does he know about football? He's Honestly, um, I, I I don't know. He's on the board now, but he's not mentioned, and he's not. You don't see him. So I think it's kind of been sidelined. Just Into keep him over there. That's all you've got to do. You've got yeah. one, job. one job. Don't let him freeze. That's it. I think. I th yeah. Do you know what? I think he's in London. 
I think he's or, he's um over, he's overseeing the business, like the the shipping business for Mario Nagis. But I have a question because this came up in a conversation we had the other day. Um, so you know, one of my one of the co-hosts on our show was saying how you guys managed to kind of turn it around in a sense that you got rid of Redzos, George uh, Mendes, and those folks seem to be out of your hair as well. Like the whole Portuguese revolution thing didn't really work out the wolves way, let's say at Forest. I think they tried to do that, but it didn't work. How do you guys feel about all of that? Like the George Mendes thing and like, do you, did, are they out of Forest? Like completely? Like, yeah, is, I, I think yeah. they are. They are. Cause like, there's a, I just seen a Diaz. I saw Diaz comment. And I know, I know Diaz went from Forest to Limpia across the world, didn't he? Is it Gil Diaz? Gil Diaz, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he went from Forest to Cross. But... I feel we had a pants pulled down with Mendes and that, really. You know what I mean? Nothing. Nothing was good that we got from that era, I don't think, really. Yeah. And I think Corvalli is sort of the last one to go, in it? Yeah. Really. Um, but, but, but then again, like, if you hadn't have gotten rid of Karanka at the end of that season... Be different. Because you got, I you think it would be a lot different. You, you got rid of him because you didn't get promoted. We we got we got a load of designer clothes or whatever in stock, <laughs> and then we got someone completely different that didn't suit them. So and they yeah. went all wrong. So we got the guy. We got the the flashy young thing, and then you get O'Neill and all these other guys afterwards. And yeah, it just didn't work. It was the wrong tools for the for the managers that came after. I think it would have been different. I think if Cranka stayed, we'd have got promoted the second year, if not the first, for sure. <laughs> Uh, uh, before I've got a question for you, Costa, but I've got two super chats from Spes, uh, £4.99. Thank you very much for that. And another £4.99, uh, £4.49 question. Um, there's another question for you, Costa, and this is this is a bit strange. Costa, this this is underselling it. Olympia Costa is a broken club. Agents drive almost all the transfers. <laughs> the club doesn't have a scouting network of any idea of squad building. Respond to that, Costa. That's a bit yeah, so, 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 Ooh, so that that's the key. That's the key. Labro, Labro is uh, the co-host I was talking about, and he's like our, uh, okay. our, our troops without the weed and without the alcohol. Uh, <laughs> yes, but, look. Yeah, I, I think I think yeah, he's he's a bit like some of those Greek fans that I told you about. But I wouldn't I wouldn't go. I you know he knows I disagree with him on this. I don't think we're a completely broken club. Um, I think that we're. We have a bit of a scattergun approach, and like I, in, in terms of signings, like we we just signed three players, like from from the French league. We bought in a youngster from PSG. We just bought someone from Nantes, uh, and and someone else, and like they're they're all like eighteen to twenty years old, or to eighteen to twenty one. Some of them will end up being good, some of them won't, or some of them will be all bad. But do you know what I mean? It's like we've not spent money; they're free, or they're like a hundred k or whatever. And we might sell them in, in a year or two years for 10, 15 or 20 million. So, like, there is a bit of short-termism in how the club operates. It's like, the priorities are always win the league, play in Europe. But, you know, the dream is to win a European competition. And to win a European competition, you have to invest a little bit more money. You have to have a proper, proper kind of scouting network to, to, to say to, to your presidents, like, Sign that player for eight million. You will sell him for thirty, and he will score thirty goals and get us to the semis or get us to a final. So, like, that kind of long-term thinking of how do we get to a final and what do we need to do to do it is probably not there. Some might say it's not realistic for a Greek club, but um, but yeah, a broken club. Don't think so. Um, agents drive almost all the transfers, maybe. But then again, like having someone like George Mendes in your back, like we. I think it's been more benefit to us than than detriment, to be honest. Mm, okay. Um, well, we've got we five minutes to go. If there's any any questions you want to ask to Costa, Matt, Lee, myself, um, because I've got I've got to go to uh, I've got an early um, drive to, to um, car tomorrow, so I need a little nap. Um, mm. Last but not least, um, Costa, like I said, um, you, you I think, are you you know in the Champions League? Are you is it Europa League? You in? Yeah, we play Atalanta in the last 32. Oh, that's, the week. that's a tough, that, that's a tough game, isn't it? Do you think you'll win it? They sold three three of their key players and they bought in a good striker from Sassuolo 
we're the underdog and that's the position I like. I think we we prefer to be in going into a game like that. So to be honest, I have zero expectation. Uh, but this manager, he's he's pulled off surprises before. So one way or another, like like I said, I think for me, I want to get to the end of this season and whatever happens, happens. I won't be, I won't be dis- very disappointed if we get knocked out. I'll be super happy if we do get past them. So whatever happens, happens. Right, people, I'm get going because I've got I've got a, a good trip tomorrow. Um, Matt, Lee, are you watching the game tomorrow? I know you both can watch it, but where are you watching the game tomorrow? Yeah, where you watch so it? I'm going to watch Derby first as well. Though Lyle Taylor bangs a hat trick in in the last five mm, minutes. Got to do my tax return. <laughs> Costa, <laughs> Costa, are you watching the game tomorrow? Come on, you got to watch the game. Come on. What time is the game? The game's four o'clock. English time. So, so it's five, five o'clock. That's five. five o'clock. That's five p.m. my time. So, if it, if I can find it, and you tell me, I should have worn my, my Olympiacos. I've got Olympiacos. 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 Is it on Sky? Is it on Sky Sports? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Dual yeah. broadcast it from his phone if you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I've got my. I've got my ways. I've got my ways. No, I'll whack it on. <laughs> Uh, right, uh, right, we get going, people. But, uh, Costa, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much uh, for coming on the channel. Like said, my people, pleasure too. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. Yeah, he's it, got a YouTube channel as well. Please go down, link, link and subscribe to his channel. Um, like I said, like Matt's got business, Lee's got business. The link is below. Make sure everyone <laughs> goes and tries it. What are you laughing at? Right, this is the, what's Matt laughing at? What are you laughing at, Matt? What's going on? Well, just until I do my tax return, I don't know whether I have a business or not yet. So <laughs> It might be a closing down sale next week. <laughs> well, at least, at least we'll, we'll be all right. You're not, we'll you, you're not about garbage, but that, that, that's all it matters. No, um, right. I'm not you'll, pay your, you'll pay yours. You'll pay yours. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> right, 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 right. Before we do go, Costa, I know we mentioned the rivals to Forrest and Derby. Like, you mentioned your rival, rivalry in Greece. Like, is it bad? Like, do you know do the rivalry between Forrest and Derby? Do you know how bad it is in Greece? It's not as bad as our rivalries. Come on, what? Nah. What do you mean? What? If you if you go to Derby wearing a Forest shirt, what happens? Anything could happen. Crucifixion. Anything? Crucifixion. It was. It used to be hung, jawed, and courted, but it's crucifixion these days. <laughs> Wow, people in comments. What do you think? Uh, like, no, you it's, think? It's, 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 not a forest shirt. Not a forest shirt. Not a forest shirt. A red shirt. A red shirt. A red shirt. Yeah, no, any, it's any not as bad. It's, I'm sure it's not as bad, but you know, it's not as bad. It's not as bad, guys. No, I'm wait, sure. Wait, wait, wait. It's not as bad. <laughs> what happens well, in how, Greece? Come on. Well, right, right, before, like, like, before last one, what, what happens in Greece? Make it, make it clean, though. Don't make it dirty. Like, make it clean. All right, so I'll tell, I'll tell you an anecd- anecdotal story. So uh, a friend of ours, he um, he wore a green shirt in Piraeus. And, like, he's an Olympiacos fan, of course. And, you know, he liked this band that was up and coming in, in the I US. Just, I just saw this comment. If you wear everything, <laughs> yeah. you, know, you could die. What? <laughs> it's tough for the goalkeepers. <laughs> anyway, this this friend of ours, he goes into Piraeus with a green shirt and uh, a guy stops him and he's like, are you a Panathinaikos fan? He's like, no. He's like, why are you wearing a green shirt? And he looks at his shirt, he's like, oh shit. He's like, I swear, like on my mum's life, like I'm an Olympiacos fan, like I'm sorry. So like, you better be fucking sorry. He's got a gun in my back pocket. Wow. Not by the school, what? Right. No, no, right. I- I'm not going to lie to you, right? <laughs> Costa, I'm not going to lie. When I went to Olympiacos, right, me and Craig, after the game, was on the, was on the tube, and I, I, I'm a forest top, and I think there was about 50 of them going mad in on the screen. I, I was like, Craig was, sh- Craig, sorry for watching Craig, but you were shouting yourself. Uh, me? I'm, I, I, I was like this. I was like this. And then, if they're going to do something, they're going to do something. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, no, that, and that's how it was. Yes, Craig. No, I'm no lie. Craig was shouting himself. I'm I just chilling. Like, like... No, I swear, I swear, I'm almost like I was sat there on the tram. If they're gonna do something, they're gonna do something. But they, they didn't do anything. But respect to <laughs> Olympia, I got, I got, I got, I got. Look to you, Olympiacos fans. No hate at all. I got Olympiacos. So we're not too late there now. But, um, but yeah, right. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much, for everyone, for coming on, Costa. It's been a pleasure. Uh, it, like I said, if you want to play Marinakis and bring us Smido or 
any more top class players to Forest, please come. Um, but yeah, like I said, people, tomorrow um, I ain't going to Cardiff for the game, so if you do go to the game, I'll see you there. But like I said, people, everyone, tomorrow, big game. Hopefully, Forest, Forest win the game tomorrow, win the playoffs. Yeah. Matt, you, Matt, what, what's your position for tomorrow, Matt? I think we should win, shouldn't we? We keep on winning this boring habit. I, I think yeah. we, I, you've got to say 1 0. You can't say 4 0 and stuff and get crazy, but let's say 1 0. Yeah. Uh, Lee, what's your prediction? I'm feeling a 2 0. I think we'll keep a clean sheet. I don't think they're that good. And I don't think Kiefer Moore's playing, is it? He's I'm not playing. He's not playing. And he's the one threat that does something. He didn't fancy him. it. Yeah. He didn't fancy it against, against, against Cook. So. Yeah. No, but yeah, I'm, I'm fancying a win. I think, I think roughly around two 0 no, I don't know if that's my prediction that I'm fully going with. But I'll, I'll yeah. keep I might do a door and do one after the game's finished and go. Oh, that was my prediction. <laughs> Listen to me. Everyone knows the rules. I don't do my prediction <laughs> for hours for the game, so I'm not doing my prediction. Um, Costa, wait, wait, Costa. Before you, what's your prediction for five? Do you think Forest will win? Yeah, man, for us to win, and you guys should be pushing for that first place. Didn't Fulham Fulham drew today? Did they lost? Fulham, Fulham drew one one. Like, all, like, guys, you know, like, I look, I looked at the table the, the other door. day. Like you're not like it, if you guys do Fulham really well, catching. you can push. You can push for second or third two. place. Why not? Yeah, it's open. It is open. I think uh, West Brom, like West Brom, are going downhill. They, they lost two 0 I can't see them making playoffs, man. I can't. They're shocking. I mean, anything can happen, but the way they are at the minute, they're just... Yeah. Well, I think, I think Mizbo won 2 one nil as well, so... But yeah. mm. I think that, that the fifth and sixth part is up for grabs. I think the fourth and third, teams keep winning. Blackburn Maybe draw not. as well, didn't they? Blackburn draw as well, but it is what it is. It's like, if Forest win, we go to fifth, and it's going to be amazing. Remember, we were nine points off that playoffs. But if we win tomorrow, we're less than nine points off second. We're about seven points, I think. Exactly. Off so, you know, who knows? I'm not saying mm. it will. I'll be happy with playoffs, but yeah, who knows? Mm. Right, right <laughs> people. Right, I'm going to get going. I'd like to thank everyone for the 104 people that has watched my channel. Like I said, if you're new to my channel, please do hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace and love. Up the forest. Wait, wait, wait. Costa, up the forest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up the forest. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.